Hey yo, this is Yeti Whiskers, and today we're going to be walking through all the collectibles for the downtown chapter. So go down to chapter select, Seattle Day 1, and downtown you can see there's 18 artifacts, 5 trading cards, 2 journal entries, a workbench, and 3 safes. So it's going to be a long one. Let's get closer the first thing that we're going to find is an artifact. You just, you'll find it at the very beginning of the mission. So there's the first gate, and off to the left here is a guardhouse. Inside the guardhouse there's a drawer that contains the first artifact. From the guardhouse, you're going to jump out, and this is where you come out after you jump over a few fences with your horse, and then you're going to head over to this giant building, which is a bank. And we're going to head down through the broken down rubble, and in the bank there are a few infected that you're going to have to clear out. There are a couple clickers and a couple runners, so I've got to kind of done that just to save us some time, as this is already a longer video. Just make your way down and towards the back of the bank, where we find an artifact. I think these body armor guys were trying to rob the bank. Oh shit. It's like that movie. So that artifact contains the combination for this safe. Uh, just for ease, this combo is 60, 23, and 6. As Ellie opens up the safe, inside the safe we're going to find a weapon and two artifacts, one of which is going to be related to another trophy. So great and small, you need to find the engraved ring, so we'll show you where that's at while we're in here. The very first thing we're going to find is a weapon that's attached to one of the bank robbers. Go ahead and pull the shotgun off of him. And then off to the right here on this desk is going to be an artifact. All right, from there you're going to make your way just into the back right corner here, which is where we find the ring, which is a little shout out to Nathan Drake from the Uncharted series, which is another Naughty Dog game. Great game, by the way. Game series, actually. Cool. Sick Parvis Magna, which is Nathan Drake's motto. From the bank, we are going to go and find another artifact, so we're just going to actually run there. Um, in the Takes a little bit longer to run, but that's okay. It's not very far. It's just in this uh, rundown area, kind of ruins. You'll see a little satchel on the ground. You can go ahead and grab, and inside the satchel is an artifact. That place was crazy. Well, I got a shotgun out of it, so not complaining. All right, we cleared this place out. From that satchel, we're gonna run around towards the dome. We're not actually headed towards the dome, which is part of the story mission. We're gonna take and veer left a little bit towards some, like, a ruined stairway area, and there's a tank over there, and then we're going to find another satchel. Whoa, check out the tank. From this satchel, we're going to take our horse and run over to some more ruins where we can find another artifact. We're going to get to do a little bit of parkour here. So just head up past this one, and you can see it's right in front of us now. This next set of ruins is where we're going to find our next collectible. To get there, you're going to have to climb up these steps, go around, and then you're going to have to smash one of the windows here with a melee. Climb on up, and then in the left-hand side of these little crates, the furthest left one, you're going to find the collectible. 
So there it is, our trading card. See if we can get it. There we go, triangle. Oh, no. From here, here's the ruins again. We're going to take the horse and we're actually going to go to a place where there's a training manual. So the trick with this is if you pre-ordered the game, this training manual isn't going to be here. It's already included for you. So you don't have to go pick this up, which is going to be the case for me. I pre-ordered the game. So it's not going to show up here, but if you did not pre-order the game, the training manual should be visible it's for you. So you just climb up that no truck, jump hand. over, and then we're actually going to use a fire hose here. Climb on down. you got to do a little bit of trickery Hello, to get this one. Yeah. Do you know what you're doing? I think so. So we're just going to swing over and you can see there's that tipped over like security truck. Inside of there is where the training manual will be if you did not pre-order the game. Got it. Nice one. On the way. From the security truck, which is just up there, you kind of jump down here. And we're going to go head over to our next collectible. Come up this way and back towards the ruins we just got a collectible you're gonna head on down to the music store here hey valiant music shop should we check for supplies <laughs> just off to the very front of the music store is our trading card it's just inside the store here you could just goof off play some instruments I thought we could scrounge enough stuff to start a band. Heading out of the music shop, I'm gonna go grab our horse and head over to the next collectible. So we're gonna go around the music shop. We're gonna go through this little gateway here. And then we're gonna take a sharp right. We're gonna look for the tall white building. It has some stairs with some WLF graffiti. So here's the tall white building. And then the WLF graffiti is there. So you just climb up the stairs a little ways, get to the top and turn around and our uh, collectible will be right there. From the tall white building, we're actually gonna go back to the gate we just went through and climb up a ladder to get three more collectibles. So good work by me there. <laughs> Hit jump a little early. Did not get on the ladder. So in the middle of these little like guard stations, or I guess the right hand one, there's gonna be a artifact. You can go ahead and pick that up. And as soon as you put that down, you can hit triangle again and get our first general entry of the chapter. Damn. That's pretty good. You can head off to the right here, and inside this tent is going to be the only workbench of the chapter. Jotting this down. And it is off on the far side and to the right. You can see it there. Okay, from the workbench, we're going to go right this way, and we're going to drop down a little ways, and we're going to squeeze our way through another gate to get to the next collectible, which is a safe. So you see gate west 2 here. This is what you're looking for. Go ahead and squeeze through, and then immediately right Something is where the here. safe is. you got to go around the railing. You can probably jump over it if you want. And that combo to this safe is 0451. And inside the safe, there's a trading card we're going to grab. That was some good We just got out of the gate, and from the gate, we are going to go head over to this red building here. And at the bottom of the building is a little coffee front. You're going to have to break the window to get in, and there are a few collectibles inside here.
The first of which is just going to be on the countertop here. A little artifact. And then we're going to go around the counter into the far side of like the customer facing storefront. Right here in this little drawer is a trading card. You trade half his stuff for a bag of beans. From here, you're going to go through this back area. There's actually an infected inside this doorway here in the bathroom you have to take care of. So I just did that off camera real quick. And then right here is a key. And you need this key in order to get the rest of the collectibles. Well, the next set of collectibles. Okay, so here is a coffee store. And from here, we're going to go up this street here, uphill. And you're going to turn right. Then you're going to ride the horse for a little while and... There are some barriers up here that you're going to jump in. Right after the barriers is where we're going to stop and find the next set of collectibles. You're going to look for Barco's deliveries. So we just got the Barco's key, which will unlock the door here, and we can get the rest of the collectibles. So off to the left on our printer is an artifact, some WLF propaganda. Something. And then inside here we're gonna find uh, the last two WLF weapons propaganda. for this chapter. The first of which is the long gun holster, and I just kind of counted this as a weapon. I don't know if it counts or not towards the trophy, but it's super helpful to have. And then the last thing inside this little building we're going to find is right here, the last weapon. Huh, score. All right, so there's the entrance. We're going to run down this way. And we are headed towards another security truck that is inside the water here. And it contains an artifact that we're going to grab. Whoa. This guy was an officer. Traveling in a ration truck? Trying to hide, maybe? Unsuccessfully. Yeah, it sure looks that way. Oh, man. So, from the ration truck, we're actually just going to head to the dome. Um, most people should know where this is at if you've played through this story. So instead of going through this gate and left, you're going to go right and up the ladder to get an artifact here. There's another little guard post, and in it is a drawer containing an artifact. Hungry people get desperate. Making your way through the dome, there's a little part you swing across right there. You saw Dina for a split second. Over here inside this room... There is the rabbi's desk, and inside the desk is an artifact. And after you look at the artifact, Ellie's actually going to automatically write down her next journal entry. So you kind of get that one as a freebie. I hope you got where you were going. From the dome, we head over to the courthouse. You clear out the first floor and head downstairs. This is the first doorway downstairs. You head to the very end of the hall to get another artifact. You pull it off of one of the dead police officers, maybe? We're not really sure. Brought it on yourself, I guess. From the corpse, you're going to head this way to the windows here, and you're going to have to break the window to get in to this room. And on the far side of the room, there's some filing cabinets. The bottom right-hand filing cabinet will have another artifact that we can grab. The next artifact is actually found on this corpse here. You pull out the machete and it 
lets loose the Lucky artifact lady. you can grab. Next is a safe, and if you see up on the whiteboard there, there's the combo for the safe. This guy was a Fedra commander or something. Uh, they were losing to the WLF and trying to escape. How big Here's the safe here under this desk. We just jumped over to get into the room, and the combo is 86-07-22. Be careful. Let's just be smart about it. Okay, Jesse. So now we've gone back, started the generator, opened the gate using the key we found in one of the artifacts, you come forward a little ways and you run into this building, the WLF hotel building. And upstairs we're going to find our another training manual, as well as the last few collectibles. So as you come upstairs you come into like a little hotel room, and then on one of the little desks is a training manual. In the next room on the left hand side underneath the TV, open the drawer, is an artifact. And then right behind us on the right side of the bed is a nightstand that we can go ahead and open and get the very last collectible. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Good luck on your collectible hunts.